This week, Elizabeth Warren pissed off progressives once again because she decided to publicly declare her support for Hillary Clinton's super PAC. So this is a problem because as someone who rails against dark money and money in politics, generally speaking, Elizabeth Warren should not be condoning Hillary Clinton's decision to set up a super PAC to funnel even more money into politics. So with that being said, I'm wondering what progressives actually think about Elizabeth Warren because she's been going down in my book uh, and she's been doing a lot to piss off progressives who were her primary support base prior to her making a lot of political miscalculations. So I decided to ask my Patreon supporters what they think about Elizabeth Warren and whether or not they would support her in 2020. Now, at this point in time, there are 123 votes total, and most of them are still open to Elizabeth Warren. So 52 votes were cast for if she proves herself, they would be open to supporting her in 2020. 28 people say maybe, and 16 people just outright say yes, and only 27 people say no. So this is actually surprising to me because I was thinking that the majority would actually be against Elizabeth Warren, but they're still open to the idea. And I actually agree with the results of this poll. I'm not just going to unequivocally denounce her in 2020, but I would still support her if she proves herself. I'm open to it. So uh, some of the comments here kind of enlighten us as to what they think. So Jake D. Haggard said, it depends on what our choices are. I would support Bernie over Warren, probably Tulsi Gabbard or Ro Khanna over Warren too, but obviously Warren over any Republican or corporate Democrat. Frank Black says, she has to completely break away from the establishment, form an alliance with the Justice Democrats and Green Party, otherwise give us a Stein Sanders ticket or a Connor Gabbard ticket. It's past the time to run the old money worshipping bomb dropping hypocrites away from the biggest progressive stick we can swing. And Charles Miller states, Warren will happily trash and destroy Republicans and bankers, but she has continually pulled her punches when it comes to Democrats. Before I can support her, that needs to end. And the OP Kingdom states, not as president, as VP to a strong progressive and surrounded by progressives, she could be okay. She has no backbone on her own, and I don't trust someone who watches to see which way the wind blows before taking a position. So, I mean, there you have it. I, I completely agree. I think that the Human Support Patreon patrons, they perfectly uh, <laughs> express my opinion as well. Elizabeth Warren has got to get the work. And I actually said this on the show before. I said, you know, I'm, I would still support her in 2020, but she's got to prove herself. You can't just continue doing business as usual, making political calculations that tend to fly back in her face. I mean, she was silent on Dapple. She chose to endorse Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders. So she's got to prove herself. She can take a lot of cues from Tulsi Gabbard right now, who's co-sponsor in HR 676. Elizabeth Warren has yet to co-sponsor S1782, which is the uh, Senate companion to HR 676. So, I mean, there's a lot that she can do to prove herself and still garner support from progressives, but she's just got to put in the time. And she has plenty of time. And, you know, I still think that she she needs to do a lot. I mean, she recently spoke at the Center for American Progress uh, Ideas Conference, which is headed by Neera Tandon, funded by George Soros. And you've got to stop doing these kinds of things, Elizabeth Warren, because unless you prove to us that you're not going to be involved with organizations that take big money, then we can't be serious that you're going to get money out of politics as well. So I'm also open to Elizabeth Warren, but she, she's got a lot of work to do. Uh, so it also, I, I agree that it does depend on who she's running against, but I really hope that Elizabeth Warren wakes up and actually puts in the time to learn what grassroots progressives want and are looking for in a candidate and what she's doing. Being a political coward is not going to win her over any support among grassroots activists. She might win over the establishment, but that's not enough to win the White House. Hillary Clinton proved that. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.